How high up do I have to go to get to the cloud? You might want to run AI in the cloud if you don't have a good enough GPU or CPU to run it on your own computer. Or maybe you do, but you want to run a bigger model than you can run on your own computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is sign into runpod.io. That's the website I use to run LLMs in the cloud. You'll have to fund your RunPod account. The minimum is $25. You'll see up here that I already have some. You can click up on that area to add funds. Now I'm gonna go ahead and deploy and start up a pod. This is where you get to pick what GPU you want. My go-to is RTX A6000. That's from NVIDIA previous generation. You can also go up to like newer generation NVIDIA and it shows you the pricing. So the RTX A6000 is 80 cents an hour. The H100 is $4.70 an hour. And it says eight max right here. And it says 10 max here because you can rent multiple GPUs and stack them together for extra compute, but that's a separate video. It's difficult to tell what AI you can run on what GPUs because some of them need more or less power than others. But I can tell you for a frame of reference on an RTX A6000, I can run a model with 70 billion parameters but it has to be quantized to eight bits because trying to run 70 billion parameters that's not quantized doesn't really run on that. So for this example, we're gonna spin up an RTX 86000 pod. You see over here where it says pod template, I'm gonna click change template and scroll down to this one here that says Valerian Tech Text Generation Web UI One Click. That's the one that automatically installs the Uba Booga text generation web UI for chatting with AIs. I like to add some security to it. The old business I used to be into was online privacy and security. So I still keep that sort of thing in mind. I'm gonna click encrypt volume just to be safe. Then I'm going to click edit template. Under environment variables, I'm gonna bring this down, add environment variable and type in UI underscore args, all capital. The value for this is going to be dash dash Radio dash off username vectro colon then some kind of password like we'll just do one two three four five six seven eight now our pod is going to be encrypted and password protected and click deploy on demand if i click this down arrow here i can see the progress of the pod being built after about a minute or two you'll see up here it says running now i'll click on connect and we're going to connect to http service port 7860 that's gonna bring up our pod. We're gonna type in the username and password that was set. If you're not familiar, the site for downloading AI models is huggingface.co. This user on Hugging Face, who goes by the name The Bloke, quantizes models, which is basically compression, to make them run more efficiently so they use less compute resources. He also removes the censorship. You can click on expand models and you can see all the different models available from this user you can choose from. So just for example purposes, we'll install this tulu-2-dpo 70B, that's 70 billion parameters. It's quantized with the GPTQ. You have to click on this little icon next to the name of the model. You click on the model tab and where it says download model or LoRa, we're gonna paste that name in and click download and we'll wait for it to download. Big models can take some time, so be patient. It does not tell you a progress bar, but it will tell you when it's done. Right now you can see the model is successfully downloaded. In the upper left corner, I'm gonna click this blue icon to reload the list. This will show you all the list of the models that were installed. I'm gonna select this one that we just downloaded. It's gonna use the model loader xlama v2 underscore hf, which is typically what you use for GPTQ models. If you use an AWQ quantized model, it'll probably use the transformers model loader. Once you've got your model selected and the correct model loader, click load and you'll see the status down here. After a few minutes, you'll see the model is loaded. The next thing to do is click on the parameters tab and the two parameters you mostly wanna play around with are the max new tokens and temperature. I've tested at 1024 and also around 0.3. I'll click save. If you follow me on Twitter, you can find my LLM testing results and what settings I recommend. Back on the models tab, it says it seems to be an instruction following model with the template Tulu. In the chat tab, instruct or chat instruct should be used. So I'm gonna go over to chat. We're gonna scroll down, click on chat instruct, and then we can start chatting with it. What does unicorn vomit look like? And there we have it, important questions to ask AI. When you're finished using your pod, you click close, and then you stop the pod, and you click stop pod again. While the pod is stopped, it's going to continue to bill you by the hour for disk space. Also, when you start the pod up again, you might not get your video card back. 
So essentially when you're done, what you do is you just delete the pod. This should help you run AI models that are bigger than you can run on your own computer so you can chat with it as your assistant or learn more about sick unicorns or whatever you're interested in. I'm gonna be doing this on a regular basis where I either give instructions on how to run AI models in different ways or LLM testing. So if that's of interest to you, please subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.